Hey guys, and welcome to a new come thrifting with me video. At least we'll go buy a few thrift shops and then this video is gonna turn into a vlog because I'm gonna go get my new glasses in the city later today and I'm also gonna get eyelash extensions. So if you only wanna see me go thrifting, that's gonna be the beginning and then we're gonna turn into like a regular vlog. So I hope that you're going to enjoy it. I'm um, at the first thrift shop, I didn't want to um begin the vlog before i was 100 sure they were going to be open because this is the winter break here in denmark so a lot of people have a week off so i was not sure they were going to be open today but it looks like they are so we're going to head in i'm not looking for anything particular i'm just going to have a look around see what i can find and this was by the way what my patreons my lovely patreons requested so they just wanted to see a gum thrifting with me video and i love doing that so Let's head in and see if they have some new gems since I was here two weeks ago. So a shame my favorite thrift shops here ship shop here like it's right next to this one it's closed because there have been um a break-in so therefore they're not gonna open until later today but i'm here now so so now i'm just having a look around in here it's just a boring thrift shop it really is like look <laughs> That was not exactly a success. Well, I did find a beautiful bag. I bought this one, couldn't help myself. And also when I made it to the register, she was like, that's really cheap for such a beautiful, beautiful bag. Yeah, I paid 45 Danish corner. So I got that and then I also got this container because I needed one of those for keeping food in my fridge. I don't have anything in plastic, I use these. And also when I need to take food with me, like a salad or something, I bring it in these. And I only have two at home, so I needed another one. Found one. And now I think I'm gonna continue on to a different thrift shop. I don't know, I'll just forget about this one or if I'll try to make it back later today. But it was a bit of a shame because I think that one in there, that closed one is my favorite thrift shop for clothes, but gonna continue on the journey there we go i've been driving for about 20 minutes made it to thrift shop number two and it's a thrift shop that i've only been to a few times it's a bigger one but it's also a popular one we're gonna head in see if there are some gems and um yeah i'm already thirsty i'm really thirsty let's go thrifting they have costumes in the window Send off. That's actually really cute. Like a look at the dots. I don't know if I like it. What do you think? This is cool. It's a little bit oversized, but I like that. It's vintage, beautiful buttons. Mm. This is so cool. It's velvet. Oh, look at the buttons. I did get both the velvet jacket, the small one, and also the red cardigan. 
And now if you're only here for the thrift part, then you might want to skip a few minutes now because I am so close to a furniture store that I just quickly want to go there and see if they have some good offers on some sofas. Um, I really want to save up and get a new sofa at some point. My The one that I have is only for two people. It's so small, I can't have guests over. So I kind of just want to go see. I know that they have had a lot of sale um, recently. So just want to go have a look at a sofa. So if you want to join me, come along. <laughs> Looks like there's still a lot of sale going on. That's great. Hopefully a really cheap, cool, mustard colored sofa. Oh my god, that is stunning. That has got to be very close to being like a dream chair for me. That's so stunning, it looks like a big flower. I love that, if only I had the space and the money. <laughs> this is such a cool detail in Ilve. I think it's so stunning. A massive piece of fabric. It's huge. That is an amazing color. Like these are so beautiful and they also look like pretty comfortable. Like there's pillows, the back isn't too low. Sometimes the bag is really low, that's not comfortable. This looks very comfortable. Mm, that's well good. I love that and the color as well, it's amazing. I've just painted one of the walls in the living room green. I think a mustard color or like this warm golden tone. I think that will look amazing in my living room. That's, this is so comfortable. It's not on sale and it cost a fortune. <laughs> it was gorgeous. This is exactly what I was talking about with the low back. I've just been sitting on it or in it. It's very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. It's just not comfortable. It's not one of those sofas that they want to sit in for hours watch netflix and film so even though it's also pretty cool this color though it's a lot greener in real life it's beautiful this is also super stunning beautiful color pretty comfortable to sit in this is the outlet area Still hoping to find a mustard colored sofa that's super comfortable and very cheap. I see some yellow mustard. So how much is it? Whoa. That's a good price. Let's test the comfort. That's really good. I like the color as well. It's just started raining. Whoa. That's crazy. This is so comfortable. For three people, the right color, a very good price. But I don't have the money. I think that it's working. I'm using the arm that I got for my car and I think it's working. Like it's there, it's not falling down. I just went by McDonald's. I'm so hungry. So I thought I'd just sit here, talk to you guys while I eat and get something to drink. I don't know if we should try to go back to the thrift shop that I first went to and see if they're now open. Uh, I just went to Ikea, as empty as it was in Ilva, the furniture store, Ikea was absolutely crazy, completely packed, people have been going crazy, and you can also see it here, like the parking lot, I'm sitting in front of the big mall we have here called Rosenko Center, and the parking lot is completely full, so... <coughs> um, I got chili mayo. My favorite one from McDonald's. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I just tried to breathe in my cola. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, but I don't know if we should try to go back to the thrift, first thrift shop because it is my favorite one. Or if we should just like... I don't know. I'm just gonna get something to eat. Then we're gonna go back and see. There we go. It's back up. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the thrift shop when I've been eating in my car. And see if we can find some goodies. See if they're open. Because it's now, I think a quarter past 12. They should be open like two hours ago. So there was a sign on the door when I came there that said that they were going to be opening later on throughout the day. So I'm hoping they're open now. We're going to go back and see. I've only been sitting here for five minutes. And when I started filming like five to ten minutes ago, it was sunny. From this side, now it's raining again. Also, I just need to touch up my lipstick. It's actually really chill. Just sitting here in my car, listening to the rain, um, watching YouTube videos, having a McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much never eat at McDonald's anymore. But I was really hungry. I haven't had anything since dinner last night. So. Yay, they're open. They're open, they're open. This is it. And I was hoping it was gonna open. It's now open. Last time I was here, I found so, so, so many things. Like I tried on 25 pieces, I think. So I'm probably not gonna find as much this time because it's only two weeks ago. But I am gonna see what we can find. Back in the day, I never looked at black and whites when thrifting. I've started to do that because you need the basics in your wardrobe. And it's actually nice to see. This is cute. It's too big. Oh, that's cute. It's just too big for me, but it's really pretty. Like the fabric, it's really gorgeous. Okay, this is the weirdest thing I've seen in a thrift shop today. Should I try it on just because it's so weird? I'm considering doing that. We should. I have done it again. Boom, gonna try on all of this. Don't know if I can fit into this one, but we just need to try it on. It might be a costume. Maybe. One thing is that I can't close it, but also, what is it for? Like, it's very weird. It has different buttons. It's a size zero, by the way. I'm not a size zero. <laughs> this would have looked a lot better with a normal bra. But I like some of the details in the fabric. I can't make up my mind about this set. This blouse is a little bit big. But the skirt is really cool. I really like the blue with the red lip and the hat. Might get it. I think so. This is what I won't be getting. I've decided not to get this one. Um, it's just a little bit close fitted. It's a size extra small. And this one obviously didn't work. And this is what I have left to try on. I think I'm gonna get this. That's a no. It's just... Um, I don't know. I don't think I would use it. Is it cool? I don't know. That's a no. I'm really sad that this is so big on me. Like, it's massive. It's so cool. I really like the black details. I like the color. It's a beautiful piece. It's just um, way too big. So 
that's a no. I kind of actually really like this one. I just don't know if I'll be able to use it and actually make outfits where it's useful. But I just like the look of it. It's very soft, very comfortable as well. It's one of those things that could turn out to be a very good purchase or a very bad one that you'll never use. I also always try to find vintage pieces when I go thrifting. This is not vintage. I just kind of really like it. Hmm. I need a friend here to help me out, make the decision. This looks like pockets. It's not. <laughs> it doesn't work. And also the sleeves are a little bit long, but I could just like roll them up. What would you guys say if you were here? I, by the way, asked my Patreons if they thought I should get the blue set or not. Um, I've also not decided on this one. I actually kind of like it. So I now have three pieces that I don't know 100%. The weather is seriously still crazy. We had a storm here yesterday. It's still so windy. Like I could barely open my door to get my stuff in and it's checking my car as well. I just have, I think, half an hour to go home. Like, I need to be quick now because in a short amount of time, I need to go to the city and get my eyelashes done. Like, my car's moving. Yeah. So I'll just hurry home and clean off my eye makeup. And yeah, I thought I would manage to get so much more done before I need to go to the city, but it's just around the corner. So I need to go home, prepare and leave again. Okay, this little story I need to share with you guys. I fell in love with this in the thrift shop and decided to get it. I think it's perfect for my green wall. I do think I might hang it up here. But what I noticed with this one is the person who made it is called A. Burke. And as soon as I looked at that signature in the thrift shop, I thought it looked familiar. So now I've just come back home and I thought I just wanted to check. I have three paintings with sunflowers now and I thought I'm just going to check like maybe this person has painted one of the others. Look at this. It's the exact same signature, E. Burke. So this small sunflower painting has been made by the same artist and I now have two of their works i think that is oh oops i feel like i should try to look up the person to see if there is any information out there about their work like how old are the paintings and who is this person is it a woman is it a man i want to know so we're going to google that and get a glass of water and what has happened to my african eye that doesn't look any good is it too much water is it that it needs water. So I'm gonna water that as well. I am back in my car because, um, yeah, I needed to hurry a little bit. I have cleaned off my makeup. I am gonna go get my glasses now, then get my eyelashes done. I also just posted the first pictures from the event Saturday where I was dressed pretty much as royalty. It was so much fun, but I just posted that on Instagram and uh, I'm excited to see how people are gonna react on that. And yeah, let's go. I'm actually kind of in a hurry and I can't wait to get my glasses and also get my eyelashes done. It's gonna be so easy waking up in the morning, not having to worry about mascara. Hope it's gonna look good. It's now 6.25. These are my new eyelashes. We were kind of in a hurry because I'm an idiot, I'm a time optimist, so I parked at a shopping mall where you can park for two hours. Then I went to go get my glasses, so by the time I came up to Emilia and she was going to do my eyelashes, I said to her, like, I asked her, how long do you think this is going to take? And she said, maybe two hours, can take two hours. And I, we looked at the clock and I was like, Okay, so we have about one and a half hours to get this done and over with before I need to go to get my car so I'm not gonna get a parking ticket. So I ended up running down to my car and we also talked about that maybe next time we would put in a little bit more to make it make a little bit more of a thick, I don't know, thick, is that the way? 
more of an expression. So um, I put her in a hurry, but it went well. They feel so light, like I'm not thinking about it or like I don't feel them. The summer two years ago, I think it was, I got eyelash extensions, but in a very different way. And they looked a lot more extreme and unnatural. I don't know if I can find a picture, um, but I'm going to put in one if I can find one. But I have some vlogs about it that I can leave down below if you want to check it out. This feels so much better. So um, that was so good. It was, by the way, gifted. She has and like, she just started out. So she has a startup offer on 250 Danish Kona to get this done so 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 cheap um so if you're an answer and you would like for your morning routine to get shorter i would recommend that she was super nice it was chill and um i can't wait to just like wake up not having to do anything i look really greasy by the way it's been a long day and i also did some shopping on the way back home so I've just been really good. I've been really good and productive today. So I want to show you what I'm going to eat for dinner. Also need to turn on the oven. You might fall down. <laughs> I bought some buns for breakfast tomorrow. Might bring them to the boutique. I also have my glasses, but I'm not going to show you until the next vlog. I've decided because it's really dark now. So I want to show them to you when in like proper light. Then I got a mix of salad for dinner i got some biscuits for tomorrow then i got the best cheese for salads that there is this is this one it's called puk it tastes amazing i got two different types of dressing because i don't know what i would prefer in my salad i'm going to make a salad um so i got creme fraiche just like the usual one and then i got caesar salad dressing then I got broccoli, a cola. <laughs> yes, I was drinking cola previously in this vlog, but this is my like, it's still the weekend for me. I know it's a Monday, but it's my day off. And then I also got a lion and a Kit Kat. <laughs> yeah, oops. And I also got some gum. I've just been looking for these beans for about five minutes. I put them in the in the fridge yesterday. Can I still use them then? Can I look that up? Can I just smell them? They smell like beans. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna see if it's gonna be a disaster. There we go. I'm trying with the beans. And I also have a lot of feta in it, as you can see. But I'm really looking forward to it. I'm now just waiting for my garlic bread. I have only had the Happy Meal today. <laughs> That's all I've been eating, the Happy Meal in the car. So I am ready for dinner. Mm. I'm starting to look really tired. I've just paused Bad Men. Just quickly wanted to say that I've been Googling eBook. And from everything that I can find, his name might have been er Eric Burke. He was born in 38, like 1938, um, and was an architect. That's the only person I can find that it makes sense might have been painting some of these as well. But I'm not 100% sure. I can't find anything else. So um, I think we're going to have to close that off. I don't know how I'll find more information, but I also want to end this vlog. I'm really tired. I'm just going to be watching Mad Men until I go to bed. As you can see, my eyes are so red. I'm really tired. It's been such a good... <laughs> cola. It's been such a good, long, productive, super fun day. I've really enjoyed it. I've also now managed to sell a few pieces on my Instagram, which is good. I told myself that I could only go thrifting if I sold a few pieces. So that's good because it looks like I'm going to sell more than I have spent today. That's good. So yeah, I'm really tired. I have to wake up early tomorrow. I think I'm going to get um, some pieces from India tomorrow. 
some new pieces so i want to vlog again and also show you my glasses so leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and i'm um, gonna see you all again tomorrow bye